Hello and welcome to Unboxed 4. In this episode, we're going to be looking at another issue, another special edition issue of the Star Trek Starships collection. Welcome to uh, this episode. This episode, we're going to be looking at another issue, another special issue from the Star Trek Starships collection. And which issue will we be looking at today? Ooh, drum roll. We will be looking at Space Station, Deep Space Station K7. Uh, this is a space station from the original series of Star Trek. So this is from 1966, I think. This is the first year of... Um, Star Trek, uh, the next gener uh, Star Trek, the original series. Um, I believe this is the comes from the episode um, uh, "The Trouble with Tribbles," um, which is the one real sort of real comedy issue episode of Star Trek that they did in the original series. This is uh, this was operational in the year twenty two sixty seven. Uh, location Klingon border, so we're talking the neutral zone. And the manager is Mr. Lurie. So um, uh, this is, um, it sounds like he was a civilian, to be perfectly honest, which is not something that uh, you would normally have. Uh, so opening that up here, we've got, um, here we've got, you can see they've got a design here on how to house the space station onto the base. Because these models come with a base, with the exception of Deep Space Nine, which doesn't need a base. Um, location K Sector. So in these early days, obviously, along the Klingon Federation border, you know, the sectors would have been letters. Uh, facilities, shore leave, storage, industrial replication. So it seems very much that this was more... Um, industrial replication so maybe it was a facility that was really sort of more governed by civilian agencies as opposed to starfleet wasn't uh you know a, a military slash scientific base so starfleet there wouldn't be a starfleet officer in charge so maybe that's how we can explain you know it's got a civilian manager as opposed to a starfleet manager uh surely storage you know maybe because of the location, they put it under civilian governorship so so as to uh, prevent any um, um, issues of bias, perhaps. Uh, a way to make it seem as if it's more neutral, even though it's clearly Federation. So what do we got? We go into the magazine itself. Uh, strategically positioned, we've got a beautiful image here. Uh, 3D rendition of K7, and we've got, uh, you know, a bit of dialogue that talks about the space station itself. Like with Deep Space Nine from last episode, we've got very much articles in here that are from the perspective of a fictional non-fiction. We've got some, some shots from the episode in question. And here we've got the elevations and floor plan, top, bottom, side and side. Um, we've got, uh, now we go into articles that talk about the actual making of the episode. Now, the interesting thing about this is that it is a episode that was effectively filmed twice. The original episode, and then in Deep Space Nine, the crew of Deep Space Nine wind up going back in time and visiting this episode. It's, that's how popular this episode is in Trekdom. Um, they go back and it is a wonderful, beautiful homage to this episode by Deep Space Nine. So what do we got here? This talks about the man who, who wrote the original script, I believe, and how they sold this comedy script to Gene Roddenberry. Um, we uh, move on making the episode. Uh, talks about the production. Uh, more talking about the uh, production. Uh, the troubles they had with the actual tribbles themselves, um, they would have had to make so many for this episode. 
And it's uh, it goes into quite a bit of detail. Third page talking about the making of the episode. Uh, and then we've got an article that talks about the Deep Space Nine episode. There's a bit of a spoiler here, but um, and you could see the wonderful work they did in merging two generations, the original series and Deep Space Nine. And it isn't that a beautifully this that that's a shot, that's a screenshot from the episode. Isn't that beautiful? Like you can't. They've taken the effort to match the quality of, you know, someone from 1993 or 1995 or 6 with someone from 1966, you know. Exceptionally well done episode. And here they talk about filming the space station in the 90s for that episode as they had to get new shots and then, you know, new shots of the Enterprise... And that's it. That's the magazine. So a wealth of information um, from a fictional, non-fiction perspective and from the actual making of perspective as well, the BTS, the behind-the-scenes stuff that um, fans eat up. That's a magazine. Again, more, you know, high-quality gloss colour, um, good quality, excellent quality printing. Um, all these magazines that I've seen no issue with the printing at all. I've had some booklets that came with like DVDs where everything like someone just really screwed up the order of pages. And um, but this, thankfully, they've taken effort to make the magazine as high quality as the model itself. So there's that. Now for the space station itself. Here we are. We've got Deep Space Nine, uh, Deep Space Case Station K Seven. Sorry, not Deep Space Nine. Um, we've got, uh, and this one, no, it's a bit disappointing to be honest, no image of the space station on the surrounding box, just just the top one. Uh, but we've got, you know, the different, we can see on the back here, they've got the episodes, um, the series titles, and different styles of titles. Enterprise, yeah, I don't know if you like Enterprise, but we'll just, you know, like that you know some of the great episodes and then obviously the original series itself which is where this is from so open it up I've got a little tab at the front we pull that out and then we lift the lid I haven't opened it in a while as you can tell and again we've got just like Deep Space Nine we've got uh, this styrofoam top take that out put it aside there she is. There's nestled very, very snugly inside there. We take her out. Take her out of the box. Put the box aside. Look at the model itself first. We've got the United Federation of Planets emblazoned very proudly. K7 on the top. We've got the windows. Um, a light grey construction, um, the uh, and a little docking station down here. Uh, no obvious, unlike Deep Space Nine, there's no obvious direct docking stations. Looks like we've got little, they look like running lights to be honest on the edge. Uh, this is a station where the primary transport on here would be via the transporter. Beaming on board. Um, there is a little, looks like a little docking station down here. So maybe shuttlecraft docking there perhaps. Um, but that also looks like where they would probably have main engineering to be perfectly honest. Um, and these look like the storage facilities. Um, this looks like it could be a storage facility as well, or that could be a command station. This is obviously command and habitat up here. Very little of the station is actually habitable. A lot of this is storage and industrial replication. So that's where I think the majority of the space here. Yeah, I reckon this big bulk around here is where they would have industrial replication. So whatever they produce at K7, apart from holding um, the, the grain, that is the key of the episode in question. What's the name of the grain? Um, Quadra <laughs> It's It's a hideous name to try to try to say. Uh, 
Kodja, Kodja Kuduke, you know what? Let's just ask the guys in the episode. Quadro Triticale. The what? The what? What's yeah. Quadro Triticale? Wheat. So what? Oh, Quadro Triticale. I've read about this, but uh, I've never seen any before. Does everybody know about this wheat but me? Well, not everyone, Captain. It's a Russian invention. Oh. So, here we are. We've got... Uh, this uh this is k7 as you can see beautiful detail you know there, there's not a lot of detail in the original model um there was only so much money they could spend on making new models um but you can see you know the, these are the details that they produce this is the underside so it's got a bit of detail here and underneath or around here you know showing the um the plates the metal plates uh, that was part of the construction, um, you know, sections that these, these probably built in sections and, you know, these sections would be placed over the, uh, the, the framework that would have been constructed. Um, these would obviously, these would be constructed in space in Star Trek, the starships and the space stations would all be constructed in space. Um, we see that numerous times in the episodes. Um, for some reason, um, the running, the, the lights up here, or the towers, I should say, red and red, whereas this one is blue. Don't know the significance of that. Um, but, um, you know, a beautiful, a beautiful model from the original series, original space station. Now that's not all we've got in the box. What else we've got in the box is the stand. So we've got the base, we've got the base here, so let's open her up. Now all the Star Trek starships, the bases have on the bottom an identifying sticker that states the name. So for whatever reason, if they get separated, you'll always know which base goes with which starship or which space station. So just taking this out of the plastic. There, we'll put the plastic back in there. Deep Space Station K7. And so we'll put the base here. The final bit of thing we've got in here is the actual holding thing. So we'll connect this here. It goes like that. Now, some of these don't always fit. There have been some issues with this magazine series where these have been loose. I've been very lucky in the issues I've bought where they've actually fit quite well. We stick the station onto the base like that. I'll move the docking port so it's open like that. Um, actually, I'll move it around. So there we have it. Deep Space Station K7. Beautiful to display on the desk. Beautiful to have, you know, um, somewhere prominent to display, surrounded with some of the original series um, things. You can have a beautiful diorama, the space station and the, and the starship surrounding it from the original series. Um, and that would be um, beautiful as well. So, yes, there you have it. Space Station K7 in its in all its glory. The original series, 23rd, classic 23rd century design, smooth surface, nice curves, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, they, they kept this sort of dome-like style for Federation space stations. And um, in our next episode, we're going to see what I consider be the greatest designed space station in all of science fiction. Well, there you have it. Uh, that was Space Station K7. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, a look at the space station. Hope you enjoyed looking at an original series space station. Um, this is uh, you know, yet another beautifully detailed model 
Uh, it's great to have in my collection. Great to be able to share it with you guys. And um, hopefully you, uh, you got a little bit out of it. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, now that's it for this episode, obviously. Um, we will be uh, having um, more unboxing videos coming very soon. Um, got another one uh, coming very soon where we'll be looking at one more major issue from the Star Trek Starships collection. Now, if you like what you see, if you're uh, quite a fan of my work, um, if you want to see more of my work, then please consider um, throwing some support uh, my way if you wish um, on my Patreon page. You can throw some support behind my company, Legia Centurion Films, for as little as $1 a month or to as much as you want. And till next time, have a great have a great time, whatever you're doing. Um, we're living in um, self-isolation mode these days. A lot of people are. So um, stay safe and, um, you know, do what you can to make yourself happy. Ciao.